maturity of a bond may be considered as nominal time period as stated by the issuer of the bond but with reference to the bond holder this definition may not be as much meaningful in fact maturity uh, in fact duration is the effective time period covered by the promised cash flow of a bond with reference to the changing interest rate environment so what duration is it measures the average maturity of the bond's promised cash flows it is a guide to sensitivity of a bond to interest rate changes it is the weighted average of time on the bond's cash flows and these weights are the proportional of the present value of the individual payments of the bond as a whole which is termed as the bond's fair market price duration is equal to the maturity for zero coupon bonds because there is only one cash flow occurred at the end of the bonds expect except zero coupon bonds duration is shorter than the maturity of all the bonds the weights that is wt associated with the cash flow made at time t in fact this is the present value of all the cash flows uh, divided by the bonds fair market price now to determine the weight of the individual cash flow we need to divide the present value of the individual cash flow or the coupon value over the whole price of the bond and that whole price is basically the fair market price of the bond in this equation that we are seeing on the screen y is the bonds ytm then the numerator is basically the present value of the cash flows accounted at the time t the denominator is the value of all the bonds payments and that is the fair market price of the bond the all cash flows weights are equal to 1 or the sum of the weights is equal to 1 as sum of the cash flows discounted at ytm equals to the bonds market price now using all these values that we have earlier discussed we get macaulay's duration formula and that duration formula states that the uh, cash flows at t times are multiplied with the individual weight of the individual cash flows and their overall sum is termed as the bonds duration now duration leads to a key relationship between the change in the yield on the bond and the change in its price so we can say that the change in price or the change in yield is basically the function of d and the change in yield so price change is the function of d steric and the change in yield and this d steric is termed as the modified or the macaulay's duration to understand this duration we have an example here on the screen we see that the duration of 8% coupon and zero coupon bond each with two years to maturity so we have uh, two bonds computations here the first half of the computation is about the 8% coupon bond and the second half is about the zero coupon bond we have two years semi annual compounding so we have four periods in all for the both bonds we have the time until the last payment it starts from 6 year 6 a uh, half year then it is 1 year goes to 1 and half year and ends on 2 year we have cash flows and of 40 uh, dollar for each half year period and in the last period we have two cash flows the principal price face value of the bond and the a uh, half year coupon payment then we are discounting these individual cash flows at ytm which is 5% at the half year rate then we have the individual weights to determine this weight we need to 
divide the individual cash flows present value over the sum of the present values then we have the sum of these weights and when we multiply the individual weight with the individual time of the periodic payment we determine the overall duration of the individual bonds for bond a we have duration of 1.8852 years and for bond b we have the duration of exactly the two which is its nominal duration so we see that the duration of the zero coupon bond is exactly equal to its time to maturity and the duration of two years bond is a shorter duration which is 1.8852 years so what is the importance of duration duration is a key concept in fixed income portfolio management because of three things number one it is simply a summary static of the average effective maturity of the portfolio then it is an essential tool used in immunizing the portfolio from interest rate risk and third it is a measure of interest rate sensitivity of a portfolio apart from these the duration quantifies the relationship between bond prices sensitivity to the interest rate changes and maturity we can also see that the bond with equal duration with will have equal interest rate sensitivity for this we have two bonds bond a and bond b both have maturity of two years bond a has a coupon interest rate of eight percent whereas the bond b is the zero coupon bond the current price of bond a is 964.540 whereas the current price of bond b is 831.970 both bonds have the ytm of 10 percent and we have already seen that the duration of these two bonds is equal which is 1.8852 years now if we treat one period as a half year then each bond's duration is 3.7704 semi-annual periods and to determine the modified duration with 5 percent or the semi-annual rate we need to divide this nominal duration over 1.05 and all both the bonds have semi annual duration of 3.591 period now suppose that semi annual interest rate increases by 1% then what will be the effect on the bond prices certainly there would be the fall in the price then putting these value into this macaulay's modified duration formula we get a negative 0.03591 percent as a decline in the bond prices and if we can want to confirm this decline we have certain values like we have initial selling price that we have earlier seen we have new selling price for bond a which is 90 964.1942 for bond b we have new selling price of 831.6717 if we see the changes in the prices we see that both the bonds have same decline in their prices and that decline we have just seen which is negative 0.0359 percent now what determine duration are uh, we have a uh, certain rules here that determine the duration these rules are in line with the diagram that we can see on the upper right column of the screen the first rule is that the duration on a zero coupon bond equals its time to maturity holding maturity constant duration is higher when the coupon rate is lower and that we can see for the bond having 15 percent coupon rate and the bond having three percent coupon rate then holding coupon rate constant duration generally increases with time to maturity that we can see in the case of bond with 6% yield and the bond with 15% yield and coupon rate of 3%. We also see that holding others factor constant duration is higher or longer when YTM is lower and that we can see in our diagram where the YTM is 6% and the duration is much higher over the other two bonds. Then we see that the 
minute or time just after a coupon is paid duration jumps as the cash flows disappear and that we see in the diagram as well next we see that duration always increases with maturity for bonds selling at par or at a premium to par and final rule is that the duration of a level perpetuity is 1 plus y divided by y 